Well, Ethan, back with another beer review. Tonight, I'm going to be reviewing Miller Genuine Draft, or MGD, a cold filtered beer, fresh draft taste. 12 ounce bottle. This is basically Miller High Life. Only difference is this is cold filtered, Miller High Life is pasteurized. Both 4.6% ABV. And another very subtle difference is this uses regular hops, Miller High Life uses hop extract. So that and the way they're made are really the only difference between the two beers. This is just the draft version of Miller High Life. So if you get Miller High Life on draft at a bar, it would just be Miller Genuine Draft. And this bottle is Best Buy January 18th, 21. So very fresh. We got, you know, three, four months of freshness left. So good date. Clear bottle, subject to skunking, but if they use Galena hops like Miller High Life, then it'll be less prone to, to skunk. Um, I've had this before a few times, not a lot, but it's pretty frequent in this area. You can find it pretty easy. Uh, most liquor stores carry it. A few grocery stores carry it. In other states, it's probably not quite as um, easy to find as it is in Georgia. But uh, let's go ahead and crack it, if I can. All right, bubbles rising, a little bit of smoke. Miller Genuine Draft gets a 55, an awful, on Beer Advocate. Miller High Life, however, gets a 64. So, for whatever reason, it gets a worse rating than Miller High Life. All right, very minimal head. And that's one thing I notice about this compared to Miller High Life is, as most people know who drink beer, Miller High Life has a very thick, frothy head. Um... And this, as you see, is a very minimal head, one finger at most. So that's one observation I've noticed between the two. Taste-wise, well, aroma-wise, um, but taste-wise first. Um, obviously, I've had this before. I've had Miller High Life before. I've reviewed it. Very similar in taste. A lot of people who review beer, who I've watched, say they tend to prefer MGD. I would kind of lean towards the same. Um, it has that um, fresh draft taste. Um, and, and really, any beer is better on draft. Uh, I know I've had Pabst Blue Ribbon on draft before. Excellent. Um, same beer as you get in the stores, but it just it just seems to taste better. Maybe we just trick ourselves into thinking it's better, and it's really not. But I would probably give the nod to this over Miller High Life, but let's just try it and see. Well, first on the nose, <clears throat> you get a very corn sweetness aroma. A little bit of uh, barley malt. Maybe just a tiny bit of hops. IBUs are low. I'm not sure what they are, but <clears throat> Miller High Life's are seven. Some people observe in videos that they think this one is a little hoppier, but I don't know. I've never really detected that, but it could be. Sweet corn aroma, saltine cracker, bread, biscuity, white bread, aroma, clean water aroma. Well, water doesn't really have an aroma. <laughs> okay, very similar to Miller High Life. Corn sweetness up front. A little bit of that, as uh, Louisiana Beer Reviews would say, a cooked vegetable note. I, I kind of get that. There's a little something to it, maybe a little funk. It's not a bad flavor. I, I don't know if I would describe it that way, but I, I know I know what he's driving at. There is something about it, a little like corn 
vegetable note. <clears throat> Maybe like a broccoli stalk kind of weirdness. Mostly you're just getting corn. Corn, water, barley, a little bit of hops. Very fast rising, ascending bubbles. You can see. Oh yeah, you can see that good. Tastes pretty similar to Miller High Life. Again, biggest difference I notice is the minimal head. Miller High Life usually has a very large head and it usually laces and sticks on the glass. Typical Miller lacing. This is comparable to Miller High Life. I mean, basically the same beer, like I said before. Just cold filtered instead of pasteurized and they use uh, hops instead of hop extract. 140 calories per 12 ounce and I think Miller High Life is 141. So one calorie difference. Basically the same beer, guys. And they taste very similar. I don't remember what I scored the, the Miller High Life, but this one, I scored 93. A minus to solid A. It's good. It's not outstanding. It's not excellent. It's not uh, knock your socks off, you know, outstanding, fabulous, marvelous. It's none of that. It's good, drinkable to the point. It serves the purpose for which is intended. Easy drinking, sessionable, hot weather, macro, lager. And that's just what it is. Um, <clears throat> one thing to note is this is sold at a higher price, at a more premium price than Miller High Life for whatever reason. Um, this is sold usually at $11.99 for a 12 pack of 12 ounce bottles, which is what I got at Sweetwater um, Package Store in Duluth, Georgia. So $11.99 for this, right? 12 pack. Miller High Life, $8.99 for a 12 pack of 12 ounce bottles or cans. I've even seen 12 16 ounce bottles of Miller High Life for $8.99. So with how similar this and Miller High Life are, I would always shop price. I would rather get Miller High Life. Basically the same beer for $3 less. Absolutely. I mean, equal beer, you could even argue this one has a little bit of that fresh draft taste. More of that fresh draft taste than the Miller High Life. And a lot of reviews I watched People tend to like this one better, but it's not so much better that you'd pay $3 more for it. So I would go Miller High Life over this, but I do enjoy getting this. It's a treat to find. It's not quite as free. Uh, you don't see it as frequently as you do Miller High Life in this area, but it's, it's still here. Um, hopefully it'll stick around and last. It was introduced in 1985 as Miller High Life Genuine Draft, and then quickly they changed that to just Miller Genuine Draft in 1986. And there were other Genuine Draft beers that followed. I think there was a Paps Genuine Draft. There's a Ham's Genuine Draft. I don't think Budweiser or Anheuser-Busch ever, ever got on board with the draft beer, um, but probably because they knew it wouldn't last and as far as I know this is the only one still made I, I'm, I could be wrong but certainly in this area uh, this is the only draft beer draft macro you can find so yeah 93 out of 100 basically the same beer as Miller High Life but get the Miller High Life you save more money, and it's basically the same beer. Same ABV, almost the exact same calories. It's a good beer, though. It's enjoyable. Thank you for watching, and cheers.